What's going on everybody? This is Cloud Knight from Nightville Entertainment here, and I hope you're ready for episode 4. In episode 4, we're going to create, uh, do the dramatic effect episode, which we're going to get into transitioning, going into creating the atmosphere, and setting the music, and getting the vibe for the scene. So, example, we're going into, we're going to go to, we're going to select chapter 1, we're going to create a new scene, we're going to call this dramatic effect. I'm spelling it wrong it's fine it's okay so now inside here we're gonna have the blank page again just type in change background so now we have a background we're gonna find something we like I'm gonna go with something like a sunset that looks nice we're gonna go with the sunset now we just need some music type in play music I'm doing this the typing way because I it, it is a little hard when you don't know what you're looking for in here you know you could play sounds and play music you can go to the audio playback functions and go through but I just feel it's so much easier to type and if you can get into the uh, rhythm of typing you're gonna save so much more time and we're just gonna pick something a little bit turn this way down so we don't blow our eardrums what about this one okay I like this one better it's a little bit cool. It's a little bit lovey, lovey-dovey atmosphere. So now we have our background. We have the music playing. Cool. What is next? So now we're going to type in join scene. Remember, we had a join scene. This is how you bring a character in. We're just going to pick somebody random like Anna. Okay. Maybe not Anna. <laughs> we need somebody to fit this scene. We got Jeremy. We got, uh, how about, uh... Lucy, there we go. We can use Lucy. We'll use Lucy for this tutorial purposes. So we're going to directly, I'm going to directly place her about here in the middle. So now she's just going to appear. Like, boop, hello, I'm Lucy. Cool. And then we can increase the duration of how long it takes for her to appear. Give her that 500 milliseconds. And now we want something different than her just appearing. We have the animations we can mask we can give her some movement so she pops in and and if you want the pop in you can you can do all kind of cool stuff with the pop in you can make her pop in from the right you can make her pop in from the left you can make her pop in from the bottom hello you can make her pop in from the top or if you don't want to do movement you can do some masking stuff now this is where it gets a little complicated here in masking you can do some hearts and you can make her pop up like a heart like she like teleported you can make a, a pop up with a square so you can give her some stuff some we can have her pop up like a star i'm lucy so just for the sake of this video we're gonna go with the blending i mean not the blending we're gonna go with the movement we're gonna make her pop up from the bottom and that's how you do a nice little transition on that and that's how you get that done so now we have her popping up from the bottom now now that we have Lucy popping up from the bottom, we're going to want to create some dramatic effects here. So first, let's give her, she's popping up from the bottom, so let's just make her say something, which we're going to do show message, okay, I don't know why that didn't click. We're going to do show message, we're just going to let her say hi, and then we're going to make sure we click her. We're using Lucy here, so we're going to make sure we click Lucy, and then we're going to give her an expression change. We're going to make Lucy in her, I think she's in her date uniform. I'm just going to make her do a, a normal blush. No, a happy blush. Give her the happy blush. Hello, it's me. And we're going to make it set to wait. So it, it waits for the blush to complete. So now if we watch this, we have the, the scene, the music comes. She's popping up. And she's blushing. And she should be saying hi. So now you can see she says hi. And also, this is um, the reason why the text is like that. is because we do not have a message box. So if you want to have the message box, you can. For the sake of this tutorial, we're not going to use the message box, but if you want to, all you have to do is type in show, no, uh, uh, vis uh, message box visibility, sorry, and then put it above. And what's going to happen is you're going to want to set it to yes, so it's visible. So now when she pops up, the message box will pop up, and then she's like, hi, and her name will play. But for the sake of this video, we're not going to use the message box vis vis uh, visibility for now. We're just going to do the hi, it's Lucy. So now we have hi, it's Lucy. We have the text. Everything's cool. So if you want to change the text and stuff like that, you're going to go to message and you're going to go to message visibility, message settings. So we have message settings and we can make it set up to auto erases. But in the message, in, oops, I've dragged it too high. 
we're gonna drag this on above okay we can drag it there now with the message settings you can change the colors of it we can make the text blue well, we're gonna do uh what's it red can red be seeable through here okay first of all red's not oh yeah power power so now we should have the text red in here you can do all kind of cool stuff text red you can make the text black you can have it colorized you can have outlines on it so yes we can give it a shadow yes so now it's like a little darker you can make it bold if you want to get your prediction right and we could do a lot of cool things here so we're going to do red with the shadows on it i think that looks really nice and then you can change the font uh and type in like uh, i think it's Arial. how do you spell it Arial. and then these are like the traditional fonts but you can install more fonts um to it the live preview crash so we're gonna save it make sure the uh thing go and then we're gonna restart our live preview because it looks like it crashed on us which is normal thing the the devs are working on that it's gonna fix it so we're gonna restart it and it should pop up okay there we go everything's back she's popping up and we got high and it should be an ariel uh format from the message settings ariel and um and we could change it all we want we can increase the size of it we'll increase the size to like 10 so that way when you come through you go it's nice and bright it's high and stuff like that and that's how you can create certain dramatic effects through the texting um through message settings but we're gonna have a whole tutorial on message settings this was just a sneak peek because it just so happened to we just so happened to have the message box thing and i feel like i'll give y'all a sneak peek but we are going to get into tweaking the message boxes and customizing them in a further video but this is about creating dramatic effects and transitioning so we'll get into that in the future. So now that we have our um, character here and she's popping up transitioning from the bottom, we're going to also make sure that we get some cool looking effects on her. So if you want to go to the bottom left, because you might not know how to uh, know the coding to type it in. So we're going to go to the character commands on the left, which is a little smiley face emoji icon. And now we can zoom into the character or we can shake her. So we're going to do a zoom in effect. We're going to make sure we click Lucy as the character. And then we're going to just zoom up on her probably uh, about two, two. We're going to make it about a thousand. Now she's zooming in and we're going to wait to make sure it finishes zooming. So now we have the background pop up with the music. We've got her popping up from the front. She's like, hi. And then she zooms in and looks at us. So now we're going to just show another message. We're going to click paste. We're going to drag it down. We're just going to tell her to say, what brings you here? So now she, what should happen is she's going to say, what brings you here? And then, you know, you could say your response or whatever. And then we're just going to shake her. And then we're going to give her a little shake. Make sure we click on the character of Lucy. And then we're going to give the speed about, which wasn't good enough. We're going to do a 15 to 15 range. Make the speed, we do 100, I think. And she'll like bounce all over the place and all that. So like, you know, or we could just do, what was it? What was it? Stat seconds or it doesn't show. And there you go. So now she's flashing. So there we go. She's like an evil. She's turning evil. As you can see. Make it a little longer. So like you can see she go, she's like evil character. And then while she's an evil character. We're going to do a backdrop effect. So we're going to go into the background set section here. And, and you can see a bunch of different background things here. Right? But on top of that. If you, you want to have something more cool. Like you can do background animations and background effects. But for the sake of this video. We, we can we can do another touch up on the um, background stuff like that but this is this tutorial is the dramatic effects so we're gonna go into um, see this is the problem because I usually just type it in so I'm just gonna whoa not that I clicked that on accident this is where we're gonna type it in um, we're gonna type in play m movie we're gonna click play movie here Let me close this out of that so we're gonna have the play movie function now in the play movie we're gonna click uh, whatever we want we can get some rain we got some fogs we got some rays some rain too some snow some all that some blizzards so we're gonna do like rays because like when she turns evil you're gonna see some rays let's see if we can get that looking good here whoops now let's see the only thing about that or is it or is it maybe maybe not rays maybe rays is bad maybe some fog i'm trying to uh, remember here I think we have to have the play movie up top. So make sure you have it up top. And let's see. Let's see what's going on here. Let's do this. I'm going to put some rays up. So let's see. There's some rays right there. 
But the rays should be appeared here. Let's see. There's something. Come on. There we go. So we have the rays playing. But we also want to blend the rays in. Let me see where the movie picture. Movie right here. Movie settings. We want to blend the movie. Okay, that's what I was looking for. So while we have the movie playing, we want to blend the movie. We want the opacity to be up. Maybe a thousand opacity. I, just, I had this working before. I'm not sure why I can't recreate it. But I'm going to look into it and we're going to um, get that all set. We got play movie, blend movie. We can show the movie. But it should be... Uh, it should be blending into the background. Hmm. I'm not understanding why it's not doing it fully. Maybe if we do some rain. Okay, so the rain works. We're gonna we're gonna fix on the the. We'll, I'll, see, I know I had it right. I know I had it right, but for some reason the rays aren't working as way it's supposed to. So we got some rain effects going and hitting our character. But I'll try to figure out why what's going on with the rays. Just give me some time for that. Um, but yes, as you can see, we do have it set up so that way you can see the uh, rain and all that. Let me see if I change the opacity, if this does it. We don't even have to blend it in. So we're going to delete that. But now we have the rain coming onto our character. And that's how you can create some dramatic effect. And we're not done yet, though, because now we have that character, all that. We got the rain. We got her going all crazy with the... She's turning. She's shaking. She's turning evil. We got the rain appearing. We want to, um, we want to zoom her back out or we can, let's see, what else can we do to her just to create more of a dramatic effect? We can create a character effect on her. So we'll go back to Lucy. First, we need to change her expression because her expression is still the same. And so, so we're going to change the expression here. We're going to uh, copy her. We're going to paste. And so where is it? Where's the copy and paste that we just did? We got two highs. Bring that high all the way down. Right before the character effect. We're gonna right before the rain starts. We're gonna give her a let's see, what can we give? What can we give uh, Lucy? We can give her a a, a sad. <laughs> that looks funny. It's raining. So now it's raining and then the rain should be appeared right there. So now we got the flash character. She's mad. It's raining. We're flashing her. So she went from being happy. We're going to make the uh, the character change when she flashes. So that way, when she flashes evil, when she comes back from the evil flash, she's like, boom. So we need the flash. We need the flash to not wait. We want the flash to continue, the raining to continue with that, so it's going to be like that. So we want uh, shake the character continue. So she's shaking. She's it's raining. We got to put the flash up here. Okay, we had it right there. So it's like she's shaking. She's flashing. It's raining. So she flash. It's raining. It's flash. She's raining. And then the movie. And then we could do another effect. We can make her wobble, which is like she's breathing. So she's living, she's a living character now, looking at you and breathing, waiting for you to do something with her. And then we can just have her exit the scene. And it's, so we're going to have Lucy come in. She comes in and then she leaves. We can have her fade or again, you can do uh, animations. We can have her movement and we're going to just have her teleport out of here. She's like, it's raining. I'm getting the hell out of here. And that is how you guys create dramatic effects. You can use this to your information. So we're going to save it. We're going to just do a, run, a quick run through. We're going to make sure this is set to our intro scene. So we can see this live. My mouse, come on. Intro. Click this play button. We're going to click the save. We're going to load it up. Sorry if this tutorial is a little long. But I just wanted to cover a bunch of, a bunch of different things that you can do for dramatic effects. And you can use all this knowledge to your own imagination and create your own creations. This is just uh, me trying to help. So there we go. We got the dramatic. You hear that? And now we've got hi. We've got what brings you here? It's raining. And then she should teleport and leave. I'm not sure what was up with that. She said it's raining and then that we didn't see her again. It's raining. And that's because we don't have a 
set scene on when she leaves. Remember, make sure you have the milliseconds on that on both. We have her breathing and then we have, um, we want this to wait. We have her breathing, that's cool, but we want this to wait so we can actually see when she leaves. And we want to have it set so we can actually see somewhat of her teleporting out of here. So again, that's how you do it. We'll do one more quick run through. And then so you load it up after you save, after you make sure everything is properly organized and created. You're just going to click the play button as our intro scene. And it should load. Give it a second. Do, 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 do. Okay, here it comes. Boom. So now here we go. Got the dramatic music. Hi. What brings you here? She's pissed. It's raining. And I'm out of here. And that is how you create dramatic effects. Sorry that it's not, um, if I didn't touch on anything that you guys wanted to, wanted to really see with dramatic stuff, I will have an advanced dramatic effect tutorial, but I'm just trying to pump out the much easier stuff to grasp for now. And then we're going to get into the advanced stuff when I have a bunch of the basic and the core mechanic stuff flushed into like creating your menu. We still got creating your menus to do. We still got editing the menu system, the undoing the galleries, how to make pictures unlockable. We still have a lot of things to go through. So before we get into the advanced and bigger stuff, let's just keep going to the core and easy to learn graphs basic utilities of visual novel making. I'm Cloud from Nightville Entertainment. Thank you for watching. Hit that subscribe button to stay up to date on more visual novel tutorials or everything Nightville Entertainment. God bless. I love you guys and I'll see you in the next one. Peace.